Hey guys, what's up? So, uh, in today's video, we're going to do something kind of different. So, as I'm pretty sure I mentioned in a previous video, uh, I went ahead and got a, a new route to 45. Uh, so, in this video, I'm going to pretty much just show you how to put it on, or at least how I'm going to put it on. Um, so, I did get the route changer. I'll show you guys. This one is a little bit different than what most route changers are. Uh, it's different than the one that's on 66. So here it is. It's yellow instead of black, and the numbers and the word bus are um, black. So there's the back. Uh, so this is something I saw uh, not too long ago, and I kind of liked it, so I wanted to try it out. So I went ahead and bought a new one. Uh, so this is the route changer we're going to be putting on today. Um, so basically, uh, 45 already has the holes for the route changer. And this is the same size and style of route changer that it previously had. This one just happens to be yellow. So normally, if you were to put a route changer on a bus, it wouldn't have the holes already in it uh, for the route changer. Um, so in that case, you would need to mark the holes by putting it up against the bus and using the holes on the mounts uh, to just kind of mark it with a sharpie or something so that way you can drill through the holes. Uh, that's what we had to do with 66. So the kit that actually came with this route changer uh, has the four uh, screws and actually a starter uh, to drill the holes with. It's that larger one right there. Uh, since I don't have to start new holes, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and mount it. And uh, I'm going to set the tripod up so you guys can watch that process. Um, so real quick, I'll show you this outside shot here. I parked it in the sunlight so that way you guys could see it very well. You can see where the holes uh, were originally from the route changer it used to have. You can see uh, the shadow of where they peeled the vinyl off where it said 45. Um, so this is where it's going to go. Uh, I'll go ahead and set everything up and uh, we'll get started. Alright, so let's get started. So I will say there is a little bit of wind. So you guys are probably going to hear that. I'm sorry in advance. Um, so you'll see the holes for it line uh, right up. I know you can't really see it um, from where you are. So basically when putting on a route changer, since the hinges are in a position to where they're not flat, you kind of have to force it against the side of the bus. So what I'm going to do real quick is get my two screws uh, to mount it with on the ends. I'm going to get them ready so that way I don't have to uh, fight for them since the spring on the route changer was out. Alright, so I got my two screws ready. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start with the left side first. So I'm going to line up the holes. I'm going to try to push it is flat against the bus as it can go. This is the hard part. You've got to line it up with the old holes. So I'm going to try to get the. And what just happened there is a good example of why this is kind of hard. The screw fell out and is now on the ground. So I'm going to tighten this one just a little bit. Just a little bit so that way it's holding the route changer uh, in and I will go ahead and just uh, tighten it a little bit more. This way the flap does not try to fold backwards and maybe I can get the other one. So I'm gonna have to go and find the one that fell on the ground in a minute because um, with only one bolt, only one screw holding it in. If I let go of it, the other one will fall off. So, let's go ahead and just go over this screw and hold it here. So you can see it's taking me a minute because. Just trying to keep the, the actual screw lined up with the hole that's already been made. It's kind of, kind of difficult. So we're 
we're gonna go with them. Another one fell. So we're just gonna stop for a minute and we'll come back to it. All right, so kind of the downside here, uh, first off, I did get the two screws that I dropped, but the downside here is where they put the holes in the side of the bus, it goes up into where the actual paneling starts to go into a curve. So if I pull it all the way tight against the bus, this hinge will fold like this, and so the route changer will stick out like that. So I can't even tighten it all the way up like I'd like to. Now I think they had washers or something uh, under the screw, so that way it wouldn't, um, you know, water, moisture wouldn't get in there and, and rust uh, the bus. But it's kind of hard. See, like about where I've got it, if I do any more, this will start to pop out. So what I'm gonna have to do is, for now it'll be fine, but I'm eventually gonna have to get washers or something to stick under there, so that way there's not a gap. I mean, the gap isn't bad, I guess, uh, but it's still not ideal because uh, I don't want water sucking in through the gaps and getting inside the bus um, because obviously those holes would feed into the other side of the sheeting and we don't want rust in there. Uh, so, I'm going to go ahead and put in this other screw real quick so you guys can kind of see it. If you see like right now I can push on it and it's sticking out a little bit because I got one of the screws a little too tight but you can see what I was talking about where they took the, the mounting screws right into where the frame rail kind of bends um, I don't know I think it was on 44 since they put the route changer on 44 after they would have done it to 26 and 45 they put this right into the bottom of the rub rail so this was a flat section here and that would have been a better choice uh, for to mount that but at the time they didn't do that so the route changer does kind of hang a little low since they did it a little lower than uh, what they did on the other buses and since this paneling is different than the Amtrans and the ICs it you know obviously looks a little different but basically that's the route changer uh, it bends up like it should there's what it looks like underneath uh, you got your number on there. If you really wanted to, you can secure the uh, other screw, the real big one that I've got, into the bus and snap it so that it won't actually move. Uh, but you kind of need it to move to change the numbers. Um, so, yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Here's what it looks like uh, with the route changer on there. Uh, looks really nice. I like it. Uh, I think the yellow looks a lot better than the black, but that's just me. Also, the side of this bus is kind of dirty, so... Um, it needs a wash. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. And yeah. So quick add-on here. I went ahead and tried something out because I didn't like the gap that the uh, screws that came with it were leaving. So I tried using these little guys, which all of them got tight to where there's no spot for moisture to leak in, except for this one. And you can see here I ended up having to use a completely different style. Um, so it doesn't look the greatest, which I, I was kind of disappointed. I don't know why I was using the same screw and the same little backing piece, which is actually from... Uh, one of these off of 59. But... Um, I don't know why I couldn't get this one here to go tight uh, with it like the other three did but for now this is gonna have to do because it actually I mean it it sticks out a little bit you can kind of see but it's not like it's like this um, so you know the closest closer to the bus it is the better um, so yeah I wanted to include that